kitties, it's Shantara. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Oh, I want the alarm to stop. I want the alarm to stop. Well, good morning, everyone. Today is sort of my work from home routine. We're actually still working from home. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So the first thing I like to do is head to my kitchen and just basically get a drink of water because I basically don't drink a lot of water. Oh, let me close my refrigerator because my electric bill will be very high. <laughs> I'm serious, you guys, like it is expensive. So basically, I just sit here in the dark for a little bit and kind of collect my thoughts, make sure I'm nice and prepared for my work day. Hopefully, I'm hoping I have a good day online with these annoying customers that call me. So finally, after I've drunk my water, which I'm happy, it's actually time for me to open all the blinds in my house and be nosy at what my neighbor's doing because, you know, even though this is actually like a nice suburban area, supposedly it's really ghetto over here. The cops have been called multiple times. I've seen some janky stuff. I really don't want to talk about it. So I just like to be nosy and kind of figure out what the tea is as I open all the blinds to let the light in. I mean, it's not bad all the time. So like, if you do move here to this area of Berry Avenue, it's not bad. I don't want to scare you guys away because I'm trying to become a real estate agent and I would like you guys to buy an apartment for me or a house for me or lease or rent. And I don't want to scare you guys away. Oh, my blinds are open in my workspace. Yeah, this is my workspace. I guess we'll talk about that later as well. Now that I've done all the opening of the blinds, it's time for me to go ahead and take the trash out because I actually did take it out last night and my house is smashed smelly bad also this gives me more of an excuse to go out here and be nosy about what my neighbors is doing like what is she doing look at her house oh it looks weird so yeah here in Berry Avenue we could just basically set the trash right there like at the front and head back in <laughs> Look, the trash people come and pick it up. They actually like it. We haven't got trash cans yet, so hey. Shout out to the trash man. You know, I, I don't judge trash workers. They've always been nice to me. Some people, if I, you know what, I'm gonna just tell y'all some tea and Berry Avenue as we get ready. The tea, I just, <laughs> I can't contain it for myself. So I'm about to actually get ready for a workout, but the tea is one of the trash guys came over here and the lady kind of had like an attitude. So he basically left her trash there for two weeks and it got piled up in the city find her, not the trash people. So look, the trash people have a lot of power here in Berry Avenue, so you guys need to be nice to them. You'll trash there for two weeks and it will be stinking and the city will find you, so she had to learn the hard way. So basically, I'm just brushing my teeth because I'm about to go for a run and I hope I see that really cute guy that I like. Yeah, so that's another story for another time. Perfect. My teeth are nice and clean. So now it's basically time for me to go into my closet and put on my cute workout outfit. Well, I hope y'all think it's cute. So here is my workout OOTD. What do you guys think? Yes, I know it's cute. Thank you. I know you're probably like, you still have your hair like that. It won't fall out. Ugh, I will put it in a ponytail, but I'm lazy and I'm really not trying to work out. I'm trying to meet this guy that I like. So yeah. <laughs> He runs every day. I actually canceled my gym membership because he runs every day. That's the only reason why I canceled it. Um, ugh, this person here who lives here, you see how her door is open, ghetto? That person is ghetto that lives there. She just basically keeps her door open, but she has a cute friend that lives with her, like a roommate, because that's not her home. She doesn't own it. Lucky I own my home. Uh, yes, you guys are looking at a homeowner here. Yes, I own my home in Berry Avenue. Thank you. It costs a lot of money. I have to save a lot. That's why I have this online job. Plus, I have to do work part-time. I really don't want to get into that. It's hard working out because, like, let's say, for instance, I, like, run 
250 calories, then I've already wasted my calories. I, I just don't know. It's just very hard for me to understand calorie deficit and trying to stay in one because I'll work out and then I'll be fat two weeks from now because I've ate all my calories. That's another story for another time. I really don't want to talk about calories. I really don't. I'm getting triggered. Oh, I'm so tired. Oh. Oh, this is exhausting. Uh, I can't wait till this workout is over because I already know I've only burned like 250 and I told you guys we wouldn't talk about calorie burn, but here we are. <laughs> so I basically just cross the rail and head up the hill. Oh, here we go. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, you can do it, Shandera. You can do it, Shandera. Oh, woo. get a drink of water oh I'm so thirsty I only brought a drink of water because I thought the cute guy was gonna be out here running and I was gonna offer it to him but he's not here so I guess I have to drink it for myself I'm really mad right now that he's not here but I, I, I just don't want to get into that so we're just gonna run home uh, I'm so over this run already, Ugh. but I really don't want to work out anyway. I don't really like working out, but then I think calories and I kind of want an Oreo today or like a protein bar. Protein bars are good. I, I'm not going to get into that because some kind of like fitness person who's into like competitive fitness and she does it hardcore was like, and she's a natural competitive fitness person. I mean, they're natural. I don't want to get into that. But anyways, I was eating a protein bar and we were only Zoom. And she had the audacity to tell me that protein bars are like just candy and Snickers. I was like, what? Just well just ate a regular Snickers then. But I, I really don't want to get into that. Cute guy wasn't here, so that really sucks. And her door is still open. You guys see her in the front? Is that her? What is she doing? Is she looking at me? Do you guys see in that window right there? Is that her? She looks weird. I don't have time for this. Let me... Uh, you guys see how I keep my windows closed? Something's wrong with her. Oh, so I'm finally done with my workout. Oh, that was exhausting. Oh, this shower feels so good. Oh, this shower feels so nice. It is so good to get all the salt off of my body and all the anger I feel because that cute guy didn't show up and I had to run. But now I'm going to eat an Oreo because I don't even care about calories anyway. Um, but we can say that for later. So basically, I'm using a really smelly good strawberry body wash all over my skin. I can't wait to put on my face mask after work, especially since I have a Zoom call today, but I really don't want to get into that. So now I am officially done out the shower. So now I'm basically going to go ahead and get ready. I will show you guys my makeup. Actually, I could, but I really don't want to because I don't want you guys copying my makeup. Here's my work from home OOTD. A cute little shirt that I got at Sunset Clothing. I would have went to the other boutique, but it's kind of expensive there. So it's not happening. And basically some cute brown tennis shoes and my cute brown skirt and of course my gold chain that my ex-boyfriend got me I really don't want to get into that so basically here's kind of like affirmations in my bedroom good things are coming shine shine type I am the sunshine type I said shine shine type sunshine type yes I am yellow is actually my favorite color um but I I don't want to tell you guys that but yeah it is oh and because I am the sunshine type I love desert landscapings so much here is actually a highway in California I think it's California don't quote me it could be Utah but Utah sort of like SoCal certain parts of Utah the Rocky Mountains of Colorado and Arizona look the same so really don't quote me oh and here is Arizona I love Arizona so so much my mom is actually moving to Washington I mean I don't know why she's moving to Washington she says she wants to live in the Pacific Northwest now the reason why is because Arizona's gotten so big before she kind of like moved here it used to be like a really really small state and now it's like huge it's like 7 million people here when she first moved is 3 million it is so much pollution now so many crazy psychotic people she's like kind of done here so yeah well here there I live in Berry Avenue she lives in Arizona so I take a lot of pictures when I go see her so I love it there so much so now it's kind of time for me to make some tea I'm trying to lay off of 
coffee. I love caffeine, but I'm trying to lay off of it. So I have a tea. And because my blender is broke, unfortunately, don't judge me for a broke blender, I order five smoothies delivered to me every day. <laughs> it is very expensive, but I mean, I already have my home and I really don't care. So <laughs> let me close the door because I don't want to have flies in my house. Last time a rat came in here and I had to call pest inspection and that was a lot of money. We still kind of live in the rural area here in Berry Avenue, but that's another story for another time. So basically, I'll just sit here and drink my smoothie, kind of chill, relax, hoping no one gives me attitude on Zoom today when we do Zoom, hoping no one gets me any sass when we do zoom hoping i don't have no mandatory reports hopefully my boss doesn't argue with me none of that so i just sit here and hope for the best but i expect the worst so now my smoothie is almost done it actually was a strawberry smoothie so let me tell you guys what was in my smoothie while i sit here and hope my youtube channel takes off so i don't have to go back to work please youtube channel take off so i don't have to go back to work please I, I, let me calm down it had almond powder well almond flour i know some people don't put almond flour in their smoothies i do i like it it had protein powder it had a banana and lots and lots of strawberries one broccoli stock because the broccoli stock part is good for you don't even go there i know you're like ew you eat the stock um you eat hot cheetos um, hot Cheetos are worse, but you just like it because of the flavor additives. So don't even go there with me right now, okay? I like the stock of the broccoli. So here is my office. Yes, it is beautiful. And here is my affirmation for the women who start with me. Be kind, be kind, be kind, be kind. Because you know, at the end of the day, we should all be kind to one another. And I truly believe that. That's why it's one of my affirmations on my wall. I will show you more of my desert obsession with desert landscapings, but I think we could save that for another time because now it's time for me to get to work, have my coffee as I go to work. And you know, I have to go. So I need to get on a Zoom call. I work for a very specific company who does not want me filming them and vlogging them so bye with that being said kitties i want to thank you so much for watching this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure you thumbs up this video make sure you're following me on all my social media sites i love you guys so much and i'll see you in our next video bye you guys Mwah.